You never can be sure, but I think this plum is ready to turn. This is another piece of plum that Dave from Calmwood Creations gave me a little over a year ago. Plum does crack easily. The other piece that he gave me, I had cracks in them, but they didn't look too bad. This is a nice crotch piece. It's about 12 inches tall and I think 10 inches this way and about a 6 inch diameter down here and 3.5 up there. I put a flat spot on it here. I'm going to get it on a worm screw and we'll try to get it all turned this morning and try to minimize the chance for this to crack. So let me get it mounted up and we'll get going. Okay, let's get turning this piece and it's actually really balanced nicely. Get uh, 650 RPMs. Let's start with a 5 8 sweat back pole gouge and just start to shape it upwards. One of these is actually longer from the center, and it would be this one. Looks like it has some really pretty wood in there. get this flat here see how far I have to go up get a nice base on there shaping on the side. I need to get this bottom flat so I can have a bottom on it. It's mostly bark now. Square this up here.
I need to smooth it up a little bit more again, so I'll do a little shear scraping here and then we'll sand. Seven hundred fifty RPMs. Okay, I think it's uh, looking good. I really like the colors in it, especially right here. So let me get set up. We'll sand it, and I probably will put the finish on after it's flipped around. I'm going to start with the 80 grit, work my way to 400. I'll sand in reverse at about 400 RPMs. All right, it's uh, really hard wood, but it'll be easy sanding. This might take a little while. So I'll be back when it's time to flip it around. Well, that was certainly harder than I expected. After sanding with each grit, it took a lot of work to remove the scratches that the previous grit left. But I got them out. I sanded to 400. I did say I was going to put the finish on after I flipped it, but I can't stand it any longer. I'm going to put it on now. That was just way too much work. So I am using shellac based sanding sealer. This is really going to be pretty. So this is one of uh, maybe two coats of sanding sealer. I'll get shellac on it and then I'll have it flipped around and uh, I'll see you then. I have it all flipped around. I've got the tailstock live center up against it. I'm going to leave it for a while until I get this going. It's a very irregular surface. It's real wavy as you can see. Seven hundred and sixty RPMs. Got a freshly sharpened five eighths bowl gouge. I'm just cutting here. It's going to be a while before I get over to there. Okay, I'm going to move the camera a little bit. Okay, let's give this a try. Take some off the wall right here. It's getting thick. Uh, 
that darker wood there, making sure what was going on. Go ahead and go over what I just cut with the negative rake scraper, and then we have about an inch and a quarter more to go. Okay, that'll work. Okay, let's work on getting the center out. That is really nice. Really, really nice. Beautiful piece of wood. Well, I'm okay with that thickness. I just need to uh, get this hump out of here, and that'll widen the feather, and it will look great. Yeah, I think, I think this might do it. That should do it. I'll go over it with the negative rake scraper in the areas that I haven't reached, and then we'll sand it. Okay, let me get situated here and we will start with 80 grit it looks like and work our way to 400. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to get my mask on and we'll start sanding. Got rid of the nub in the middle, that was kind of hard. About 450 and the lathe is turning forward. So that's, uh, that's working pretty good. So let me get it up to 400 and we'll come back and get some sanding sealer on it. So this is my sanding sealer. It's Zinsser Seal Coat. I use a piece of cloth. This happens to be cotton. And just get it on and, and rub it in.
just letting it soak into the wood right now and we'll have to put a couple more coats of this on it and then I'll put a couple coats of shellac on it and I'll be back and we'll take this tenon off. Well I'm almost done and I really like it. It's kind of cute. Just need to remove the tenon. So I have a block in my chuck and we'll use some of this shelving material which will pat it and it also will give it a little grip while it's turning hopefully to keep it from slipping. Let's see how it runs. It actually looks pretty nice. Okay. I'm going to start with a 3-8 swept back bowl gouge and we're doing about 625 RPMs. I think that's as far as I'm going to take it. Today's not a good day for me to be trying things like that. So I'll get this off and sand it up, signed, and we will be finished. Well, here it is, the finished plumb bowl. I think it has beautiful colors in it. Really nice. And it has a feather running down through the middle of it because it was a crotch piece. And that's really pretty. And that feather has some chatoyance running on the sides and in the middle of it. I had a crack in it when I got the log and I filled this with black CA because it was white enough I just as soon had it filled. I filled a couple others as well. I think it looks like a heart with a feather running down through it. So it finished about seven by seven and the highest point is four and a quarter and the base about four and five eighths and that also has some beautiful grain in it. I finished it with Zinser Seal Coat and Zinser Shellac. Two coats of each and I used the Scotch Brite fine in between each coat and then my final finishing was with the White Scotch Brite. This was really a lot of fun to do and I hope you enjoyed the video. And a special thanks to Dave from Calmwood Creations for giving me this piece of plum and the other wood that he gave me. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And for those of you who are, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment. I read them all. And if you can share this video, it really helps the channel grow and inspires me to make even more videos. I do natural turnings from logs and segmented turnings. I enjoy doing both. Thanks again, and until the next time, see you later.